Hello, and welcome to our season with Ben. I recently had the ability to go travel to California, and I went to stop at Russian River. And this brewery is pretty much famous for two types of beers. One is Piney the Elder, which I have here. And then in the past week, in this time in March, uh, Russian River actually releases a special release called Piney the Younger. It's kind of pretty rare to get. You can only really get it in that area. Um, they do, I think this year they were doing cans. Um, and then the other stuff they're known for, which is one of the reasons why I really like Russian River, is they do a lot of sour beers uh, that are kind of aged in wine barrels with various other things. So I picked up a little bit of both. But today what I wanted to highlight in this tasting was Piney the Elder that I got and compare that to their Hazy IPA because they're kind of known for this West Coast IPA. So how does that compare to their Hazy? So we're going to start with Piney the Elder as a good baseline, and then we'll move on to trying the Mind Circus, which is their Hazy IPA. So let's get a board. All right, so here we have a poured, had a nice head. This is kind of that classic West Coast IPA where it's pretty clear, kind of like caramel colors, a little bit on the orange hue, but not a hazy, so it should be, it should be pretty transparent. Um, tight white bubbles. The If you're unfamiliar with the history of Piney the Elder, it used to be one of the most sought after beers in like beer trading communities, like, I don't know, five to seven years ago. And that was just due to it being its flagship. It was one of the highest rated West Coast IPAs, or at the time, it was just an IPA at that point. And basically, you could only get it at the brewery. Uh, everywhere else that distributed outside of there was very limited because of their actual like production volume that they could output. Since that time, uh, and I, I remember back in the day, they had it at grocery stores, but it'd be like a limit of like one to two bottles. And it'd be kind of like a piney drop, and then you'd get it and it'd be gone. Um, but if you went to the brewery, there's always plenty to get there. It's on tap. You buy in the bottle, buy the case, as much as you wanted. Uh, since that day, they've obviously increased their production. They now have, I think, two or three places. I think there's definitely a second one in Windsor, which is north of the original one in Santa Rosa. Uh, and that probably increased their production. And now they can meet the demand. Now they even have more stuff at the grocery store. When I was out in California, I could see their, they had like a Saison and their sours. I even get sours out here. Uh, so, yep. So let's give it a try. It's got that nice like piney and like piney bitterness or piney aroma and like sweetness that carries it too. That's like very classic of a West Coast. Yeah, it's got that nice piney resininess. It's very clean. The bit bitterness from the hops, because I think they're added throughout the entire boil, really cling and lingers in your mouth. Like what West Coast IPAs used to be like. Uh, there's kind of been that kind of shift in the brewing community towards these hazy IPAs. So we'll be interested to see how their take is on it. But this is beautiful. I mean, it's nice and clean. It's got great bitterness with it. It's got the nice aroma that matches the bitterness of the beer. And it's kind of that like, yeah, like piney, resiny, super bitter, high on the IBUs, very clean as well. Backed up a little bit of sweetness from the high ABV because I think there's like 7% alcohol and a little bit of that crystal malt or crystal kind of body that goes with it. So Pliny's great. If you've never had it, try to get your hand on some. Definitely go into Santa Rosa if you can get the trip out there. Move on and try the Mind Circus next. All right, so now let's try the Mind Circus, this hazy IPA from Russian River, and compare it to Pliny the Elder that we just had. So on to the pouring. All right, so here we have the Mind Circus now that it's poured. It's definitely got the haze going on to it. It kind of reminds me of the same color as the last one, but a little bit, you know, more orange. Instead, of, and then definitely the haze obviously has got it going on. It's got a pretty good head when I poured it. Let's go for the aroma. So we're looking for some things like comparison to the other one, which is more piney. Uh, I'll see how this one tastes. Or, so the other one was piney. So let's see how this one compares. Kind of get more of a citrusy, juicy fruit kind of vibe on the aroma. But still like the subtle pine. So I'm guessing they're kind of using the same hops. Oh my God, it's like almost no bitterness whatsoever on that one. Complete 180 from the other, uh, from Pliny. You know, 
it's a little bit kind of weak in comparison, honestly. It's got a better aroma than it does on the taste. It's a little bit like lacking the hop juice bomb that you would expect from a hazy IPA. It's not bitter whatsoever. You know, it's got, you know, where Pliny was super bitter, stick to your mouth, you know, resiny, I would say, is a good describer of it, where it kind of lingers in the end. This just kind of has a good aroma, and then it actually kind of goes kind of flat on the flavor, which is kind of surprising for Russian River. Yeah, so, and the comparison of the two, that's the Mind Circus, and the other one was the, the Pliny, which is a West Coast IPA. It's the Hazy IPA. Yeah, so let me know what your thoughts are down below if you've had either of these beers. If you're new to the channel and you like this kind of content, consider subscribing, and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.